Mach auf Dosi, mach auf Dosi. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Veterans Adventures. Um, today we'll be doing a little bit different. We're down in the woods, uh, me and Beck, and we are going to make our very own Big Mac and fries. As um, McDonald's is closed at the moment all around the country, so I thought, why shouldn't I just come down in the woods and make uh, my very own Big Mac and fries? So, uh, yeah, and here we are. Um, sorry I haven't been uh, doing many videos as my life has been quite busy these past couple of weeks as you know coronavirus is around the world um, the UK has been on lockdown um, yeah businesses are closing and all that you know but uh, today we thought we just I isolate ourselves in the woods and do a little camp cook so yeah guys I hope you uh, enjoy and stay tuned cheers so guys, um, we're going to go through a little run through of uh, what ingredients we got um, and how we're going to cook it, really. So, yeah. Beck, do you want to go first? Yeah. So we've got some local Anchison steak burgers. Got four of them. Uh, we, bought, we, we bought them from the, uh, the local uh, butchers. Um, yeah. They look absolutely banging, to be fair, don't they? Mm, they do. Slices. We've got uh, essential cheese slices, obviously. <laughs> seeded buns. We've got uh, seeded buns. Thank you very much. Iceberg lettuce. 
iceberg lettuce, the crunchy of the crunchiest of the crunchiest. And uh, <laughs> uh, potatoes to make into chips. We've got uh, some co-op four bacon potatoes because the world's gone mad and all the shelves are empty at the moment so there's always a massive queue outside Tesco's mm. so we had to go to co-op where we had to queue up again to get these ingredients and uh, we can only get what we can get really but we've got some good stuff haven't we? We've got classic barbecue sauce because we couldn't get Big Mac sauce yeah because yet again the world's gone mad panic no, buying everywhere yeah no ketchup um, either no ketchup, it's all, it, everything's ugh, just madness. Yeah, but it's fine, we've improvised. <sighs> we've got and the uh, Goose IPA. Yeah, I got Pride and Joy Pale Ale. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Um, first off, we're gonna, I'm gonna part boil the potatoes and then I'm gonna dry them off and um, then I'm gonna fr fry them on a high heat. So it's nice and fluffy in the, in, on the inside and crispy on the outside. It's basically um, we're, we're triple, cu triple cutting the chips. So yeah, it's going to be, uh, well, my first time doing it in the woods, uh, making chips. So bear with me, it might go tits up. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Yeah, um, obviously we got uh, salt and pepper as well. Season the uh, steak burgers mm. and the chips. Cheers guys, stay tuned some cooking action. So, sorry, you floss. <laughs> she actually just do that. finger I nearly uh, took it off <laughs> um, being an idiot with a knife just slicing away you know but uh, oh well that's part of being a woodsman hey yay yeah and now we're sitting here drinking goose IPA by the uh, the goose island beer and co and oh my god this is absolutely banging mm, it? Oh, it's so good. 5.9% volume. It says on the can, we don't need to be the only beer you drink. We just want to be the best beer you drink. Mm. And tell you what, this is a really good IPA. Mm, yeah. It? Yeah, if you like IPA, you'll love that. It's really good. So good. <laughs> Perfect. We've got the chips bubbling away nicely here, just part boiling them and then we're going to drain them off, let them dry for a little bit and then we're going to fry them. Deep fry! Mm
Hey guys, wait until this smoke passes. Jesus Christ, it's following us. Um, we've got, um, we've opened our second can. It's called Pride and Joy, and it's a pale ale. And it's a 5.3% volume alcohol. Uh, here we go. It's got mango and pine in it. Oh, very nice. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get that down the hatchet now. Mm. Uh, what do you think? You can taste the pine in it. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. It's like Beck just made it over there. <laughs> With all the pine trees. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, at the end of this video, I'll bring the cans, cans over so you can see them. And if you find them in the shop or store near you, pick it up. You won't be uh, disappointed. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Get that down the hatchet. Give the uh, fries a little stir. Cheers. Oh, oh, here they come, boy. This is how we do lockdown in the UK. Well, woodsman style. Bushcraft and stuff. Camp Cook, McDonald. Instead of us going to McDonald's and it's not even open, we will bring McDonald's to you from the woods. How's that sound? Mm. Be sounds perfect. Sounds good. Right guys, and there you have it. My very own Big Mac and Fries 
cowboy style. I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm. Is that good? Oh my god, it's so good. Ready? First bite. Really good. Sorry if it gets a bit messy because it is a bit big. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. That is incredible. Look at that. Wow. How do you find it back? Oh my god. Really mm. good. Juicy, but crispy at the same time. The meat mm. has really good flavour. And that oh cheese god, it's is all banging. My, it's all on my hands. That's amazing. I just, um, I wish I could get my mouth by the whole thing. And it's the uh, campfire cooked chips. You can see it. There you go. Look at that. Lovely. Mm. Chips are really good as well. Mm. That's how you do Big Mac and fries in the woods. Hey guys, that's us walking back to the car. We are both full as an egg. Actually, we're rolling back to the car, aren't we? Are we? Are we? Just now. Oh my god, run, run, <laughs> run, run! She's, uh, she's not running. She's walking because she's tough. Uh, anyways, so yeah, we're going to walk back to the car now. Oh my god, I'm so full. <laughs> Yeah, look at that view. Look at that. A view of factories. Well, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, if you're new to this channel, could you please like and subscribe? And uh, if you're my uh, one of 79 followers, could you please like and subscribe? Leave a or comment, comment below. If you think, uh, oh my God, you can't see me. If you think I've done anything wrong, I've probably done a lot of things wrong, but uh, here, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, cheers guys. Hope you stay tuned for the next one. See ya.